Well, welcome back to Doc's Workshop and Forge. So today we're doing something we don't do very often, architectural type uh, wrought iron work. So what we're building is a um, kitchen gantry for an open hearth um, stove area. So it'll carry a pot, lift it and lower it as required for heat and be mounted to the side wall of the inside of the fireplace. This is a picture of what I'm trying to replicate. And this is the drawing that I've come up with. Um, and so you can see how much the adjustability is. Uh, okay. um, if the pot is suspended from that point, then you can go from fully down through to quite significantly above and if you've got a short chain or a chain with a trammel type arrangement you can get even further adjustment but I don't see a need for that just a simple hook here will do. Um, it will be mounted to the wall through two fixed um, eye brackets that will come out from the brickwork. I'm thinking about moving this down so it's a similar distance from the finials at the bottom just to keep that so I may end up having to adjust this one um, on the fly when I'm actually forging just to compensate for that change in height. It shouldn't be much, it'll be a very gradual change in curvature up here somewhere. Or here. Um, so this piece of work involves a lot of complexities, so we've got taper drawing, scroll forming, collar setting, um, curves to position, there'll be a blacksmith's ball, um, set down tenons, um, forged end finials, um, tapers, right angle corners, upset corners, um, and a lot of punched holes. So this should be quite an entertaining project. It will necessitate making some tools to do this. The first of which I will be using this old bearing race um, that will allow me to form these. I am toying with the idea of grinding off the side so I get more of a sharp inset. Um, so I'll probably end up doing a test piece. There's enough here to make two of these. So I might end up just making two. I need a tenon forming die um, or spring swage. So I'll be making that out of this. Um, so that should yield me somewhere in the quarter inch to eight millimeter range for the, um, the tenons. I'm using 10 by 25 stock for the structural. The vertical is a piece of 20 by 20 solid. The lifting arm will be 6 by 25, as will the sector arm. The collar will be probably, uh, probably 10 by by 3. I think I've got some of that kicking around somewhere. Um, and these will be 10 by. 40, I think I've got some of that still around. Um, if not, there'll be a trip to the uh, steel yard. To make the spring swages, I'm just using mild steel because under this application it'll last more than long enough. I've got some hardy shank material cut up. This fits my antique anvil but doesn't fit my modern anvil, so I'll probably end up forging these down a little bit just to get that fit as well. Um, so, Let's get things hot and uh, get our things underway. So step one will be to unbend this a little bit, just to get this started. Uh, let me try and get this started without damaging the surface too much. And then we'll do the rest on the anvil with a wooden mallet. All right. 
this down. Switch to a smaller hammer for a bit better control. tooling that we needed, we need this one for making the um, details on the vertical, the little finials at the top and the bottom. So that one's ready, just needs a tiny little bit of clean up to get some welding spatter off. We needed a tenoning tool for finishing up some tenons. So this one will yield a 7mm tenon, uh, that should be adequate. The hardies are sized to fit both of my primary anvils, which is really handy. And whilst I was at it, I made up a scrolling tool 
just to make the big curves at the um, the wall end of the of the arm. Um, pretty simple device. And I figured you guys didn't really want to see the uh, the fabrication side of things, so I haven't really recorded any of that. Um, I've just recorded the forging of the parts, the bending of the springs. So, we're now at the point where we can start cutting material for the actual project itself. So, in the next video, we'll cut the material and we'll start drawing out the tapers. And then we'll go from there. I now have a Patreon, the link to which is down below. If you'd like to make a donation to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm currently working on soundproofing to cut down on the road noise. Um, any donation is just that, a donation. Content will always be free. So if you've enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media, and if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you subscribed. And don't forget, when you do, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos. At the moment, it's roughly once a week. So get out to your shop, have fun, but do stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.